Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Swish, and today we are doing a popular trend that was on YouTube a few months ago. But I feel like not enough people in the art community have done this. So today I'm going to try and follow a watercolor tutorial using only the voice. But yeah, so the video. Okay, so it's a thousand degrees outside and I've had to put my hair up because I can't have the fan on or you won't be able to hear me at all. So, um, yeah, let, I've got the audio ready to play, so let's just jump in. Welcome back, my name's Shada Campbell and in today's video we're going to illustrate and paint this watercolor fox in a floral spring wreath. So let's get started. Okay, so we're doing a fox in a wreath. Um, I don't do animals. If you're familiar with any of my art, I just... Animals is never a thing that I've been into. It takes a certain kind of skill and a certain kind of brain, I think, to be into drawing animals and I just don't have it. So hopefully today uh, might change my mind. <laughs> But before we begin painting today, I want to talk a little bit about drawing the fox. Um, and I also want to talk about how drawing animals doesn't have to be scary. So the first fox that I'm going to do is very sort of nondescript and cartoony. And it just starts with this rounded triangle head, two little pointy ears. You've got the snout, the beady eyes, and you can see you can play around with it there. But his face comes together and it's so simple. Okay, so somehow this ended up being a leaf exclusive wreath. Uh, I don't know how that happened. Like I told you, I just don't have the brain for nature drawing, so leaves just seem like the easier bet right now. So she's using a wet on dry technique, and what that means is that we're not going to lay down any water before we go in with our paint. So the first thing I want to do is just make these really light colors and I'm just going to lay down a nice flat washes of light color. Okay, now that our underpainting is more or less dry, we're gonna start with the second layer and yeah, let's jump in. I just wanna lay down a nice 
flat color. And then once I'm sort of happy with the way things are going and the direction I'm headed, then I'm going to go back in and add all those details. Going up the length of the wreath, I'm adding little pairs of green leaves um, and they sort of get a little smaller as they reach the top of the wreath. And I've done a wreath where the leaves um, grow towards each other or towards the top and meet in the center. But you could have all the leaves going one direction. You could do a floral wreath, totally up to you. So that's what it looks like once I'm sort of done the underpainting. Everything's very flat, very simple. We're gonna let it dry. It's a good time to wash your brushes, maybe fresh up your water and then once your painting has dried you can go ahead and mix up a darker green or maybe a cooler green and we're going to start adding some detail and it won't take very long for that first layer to dry because um, it is so light now i'm adding a darker green sort of to um, each side of each leaf okay so as you can tell i've pretty much covered the little light green leaves with a much darker green and um, that's just because I didn't really like that light green. I feel like it doesn't go with the color story I'm trying to create. It was a bit too yellow and a bit too pale. So we've gone over it with a dark green. And then I mixed up a little bit of gray and now I'm going to go back in and add some more detail on the fox. So of course his legs are dark, um, but I also want to add some shading to his breast, his ears, um, even his tail. Okay, so the final steps according to Shader is to add highlights using a white gel pen and to go back in and draw some construction lines using black fine liners and the ones I'm using are the uni pen fine liners which are waterproof which I hope will mean that this doesn't feather out too much when we're actually using it but we'll see how that goes so I'm going to start with the outlines first and then add the highlights last Okay, and then once this was all dry, I decided to uh, just go over everything with my Pigma Micron Artist Pen. I just love doing that black sketchy line on an illustrative watercolor piece like this one. And if you decide to do the Artist Pen on your piece, it's totally uh, up to you how far you take it. You could add a lot of detail, like veining on all the leaves. I tend to add quite a bit of detail when I do it. I add a stamen to the center of every flower and just sort of go around all the leaves and make everything kind of pop with that sharp black line. <laughs> my edition of this fox in a wreath. It looks nothing like Shader's fox does and honestly my fox is kind of ugly. Like it's the moon moon of foxes. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this little bit of humour has brightened your week. Oh here comes my little fox. Do you want to say hi? Say hello. Say hi YouTube. Can you say hi? Oh, he's been a little lethargic all day today. But yeah, if you like this video, remember to leave it a big thumbs up. So I know you'd like to see more of these fun, challenge, playful videos. And make sure you go check out Shade's original video, which is a lot more educational, I'm sure. And I will leave a link to that in the description. And if you like this video, if you enjoy my work, then go check out my podcast. I will leave a link to it in the description. Last week's episode was completely free to listen to. And we spoke about whether or not we're living in a simulation. Make sure you go check that out. And if you like what you hear, then please support my work. I would super, super, super appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say today. If you like this video, again, remember to leave it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another one from me. 
And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. You know I love spending time with you every day. And I will see you again next week. Bye. Thank you.